Lab View, NXT and Tetrix Part 2, Tetrix Motors, and the Watchdog Timer. Maybe you experimented with your Tetrix robots and tried to get them to dry for more than about 2 or 3 seconds. Let's say for 10 seconds, you probably found that this doesn't work. There is a safety feature that won't let the motors run for more than 2.5 seconds. So, if we want them to drive for 10 seconds, you have a few options. You could have multiple drive blocks with multiple weights where you tell it to drive, you wait for a short amount of time, you drive some more, you wait, and you just keep doing this in the same direction until you get to where you want to be. But this makes long, ugly code, and this is probably not the way you want to do it. Another way might be to put this little piece into a loop and make it go over and over and over until it gets done. Finally, there's a third way, and that is to use the watchdog timer. So let's put the code back to the way it was, and we want to add some code, making sure that we're targeted to the NXT. for a watchdog timer. We can find that in the Tetrix palette. We're going to want to put this watchdog timer feeder inside of a loop so that it will do it over and over while we're driving. And we need to give it the information for our port and for our motor controller. And we don't want to do this all the time. We want to just do this every couple of seconds. So let's put this in. Now, the last thing we need to do, and it's going to be a little bit complicated, is to figure out when is this loop going to stop. And there's many different ways to do this, but I'm going to use a boolean. At the beginning, the boolean will be false. And after my driving code is finished, I will change the boolean to true, and it will read that inside the loop. So I'm using a sequence structure here just to put this boolean at the very beginning of all the things that I run. And I want to create an indicator. And I'm going to give it a good name. It's going to be called Stop. And it's going to start out false. Because I want the loop to keep running until I change it to true. Control click and create a local variable. The local variable is just a reference back to that boolean. And right now this one's pointing the wrong way, so I need to change it to a read so all the information can come out to the stop sign. All right, I'm going to use another sequence structure, putting it at the end of my driving code. I'm going to make another local variable and this time I'm going to set it to true because I want to say that I'm done and then when the loop checks it it will stop. Make sure that you save your work. I'm going to save this with a new name. and then let's download it and try it out. I tested it and my robot didn't work the way I thought it should. 
I'm going to set the time to two seconds so it updates, but the big mistake is right here. My motor controller should be one. If you look at my motor numbers, they're both on controller one. All right, here, let's test it out again. And you're going to see that it's going to run for, the wheels will run for 10 seconds. 